Hello and welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me in another of my wonderful interviews. Now, are you somebody who loves to go to events, maybe speaking events or maybe music events, and you turn up only to find there's nobody there because there's a great big sign that says cancelled? And you go, hang on a minute. What do you mean cancelled? We can't be cancelled. I've got the tickets and everything. And somebody says, oh, yeah, well, they're, they're conspiracy theorists. So they're talking about subjects. Oh, you know, they want to talk freely about subjects which might affect you. We can't have that because uh, there's the mainstream narrative to keep and we can't have any of that. Well, this can happen to all sorts of people. Um, and it's happened to my guests here where they are musicians and they have been cancelled because they wanted to do their own thing. And people have said, oh, no. You can't talk about the sexualization of children. That's outrageous. So, ladies and gentlemen, from the new record label, Wrong Think Records, Dan and Eliza, if I can get my teeth in, uh, joining me live. Hello, Dan and Eliza. Hello. Hello. Hi. Now, you're from a band called Whom By Fire. Is that correct? Uh, yeah. That is correct. And uh, you, you do nice songs. And you go to places and occasionally they say, Oi, you're getting a bit out of order here, talking about <laughs> stuff you shouldn't talk about. Am I have I got the right end of the stick here? Um, pretty much. Our music isn't really political at all, but we've spoken out about certain issues um um on social media and in person, which has attracted um I think the wrath of particularly um South End Pride and what what I call the the Alphabet Mafia, and uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. So so, what kind of things would you be talking about? I mentioned there the sexualization of children, only because you told me that before we started recording. Um, is, is that the sort of area in which? Because we've spoken about that. We've had um, uh, um, what's her name, Kimberly Ershwood, from uh, the Welsh team that are pushing yeah. back against the school uh stuff yeah. that's going yeah. on um yeah it's it's mainly been um about the sexualization of children um particularly our, our local south in pride they put on some events locally which um seem to be like targeting children and um some of the events have been quite pornographic in nature as well and um We've actually asked to speak to South End Pride about it to get their take because obviously, you know, you see these events advertised and and you're not sure exactly what the event's going to be like. But mm. I, I've seen some photos of mm. like events and it's been like, you know, inappropriate yeah. at best. Yeah. Um, but South End Pride have a policy. We've been told that they they will not discuss these matters with um, people. So. So we haven't spoken to them. No. <laughs> well, because they won't, yeah, because they're not going to discuss exactly, it. Exactly, yeah. Uh, which which makes uh, it, it difficult when you're trying to have an open forum and you just want to sort of go, well, okay, give us your reasons for why you do what you do. Yeah. And here's our reasons why we think it's inappropriate because, yeah. mm. you know, children are of a certain age. Yeah. Um, so, and... I mean, I was talking at the beginning there that people do get cancelled um, because there seems to be an intolerance for anybody to me, in my mind, speaking common sense. I mean, if you're talking about a child of, say, five or six mm -hmm. being exposed to stuff which really, when they're 15 or 16, they can make a bit more of their mind up, not at that age, yeah. uh, and yet they'll common sense seems to go out of the window. Exactly. Yeah. 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 And because you're a band, I suppose you put your head above the parapet even though you're music itself is non-political it's a it's presumably affecting you know because you're talking about stuff which is passionate to you so are, are, are you finding that events are that are venues rather are cancelling you as a result of your social media standings um yeah so we most of our events get targeted by um south end pride or associates of south end pride um they try and get our events cancelled sometimes successfully Sometimes not successfully. Um, yes, we've had two, yeah. two, two major cancellations last year. The first one was back in the summer um, with the Lee Folk Festival, um, which we played at numerous occasions. Um, and we were advised by the um, directors of Lee Folk Festival only a few days before we were due to perform um, that we, we were not allowed to. 
and mm. we were getting pulled from it. <clears throat> and then later on in the year, we were putting on our own event at a church, a local church that we again put on events before at. And uh, yeah, again, near about a week before we were due to be performing there, we got an email again saying, no, you're not allowed. We've, we've basically heard your opinions on GB News and, and other platforms about the trans community, queer stories, apparently yeah. anti-queer stories yeah. that we've been you it's, know, it's involved normally, in. Um, yeah, it's normally something very vague. They don't come back with anything no. specific no. that one of us has said. It, no. um, it's something that they say like anti-queer rhetoric. Right. And, and I mean, this is the kind of story that's going to resonate with all sorts of performers up and down the countryside, yeah. you know, who, who, who have a, a, a thought on, you know, whether it's good, bad or indifferent, they have an opinion on something. Mm. And, and that opinion is sort of separate to the actual music that you yeah, hear. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Although, obviously, we're a band that perform together, we, there are, we have individual views and opinions yes. on things. Some of them are exactly the same. Some of them aren't. But it doesn't. That that's not. That shouldn't be affecting yeah. our music. Yeah. We're not. We're not shouting and screaming anything political in our music. So it's people really targeting like a personal thing and making it much more about the music because they're cancelling yes. our music. That's what they're doing. Yeah. Yes. Is yeah. Crazy. And, and and that, and that is that is really weird because it's not as if you're um I'm just trying to think now without sort of getting myself into trouble <laughs> someone like Rolf Harris who was a bit of a you know he went to prison because he was a bit of a kiddie fiddler in the end um uh, but he did do his own music that some people still you know two little boys and two little toys you read into yeah. that what you want yeah. um but you know um it's not like that's your music is pr is promoting your personal agendas or your right. own ideas your, your music is what kind of music is it that you do by the way oh. um so we've been described yeah. as folk music but we're a bit more progressive than that um we we do a it goes from quiet very quiet to very loud all in one song lots of vocal harmonies um we like to so that our songs are mainly about redemption and that sort of thing love love yeah. oh. love Hope. <laughs> bit of freedom thrown in, freedom, you know, yeah. Um, yeah. truth. We're very so, much. Uh, are you the Sex Pistols of your time? Well, <laughs> I don't think we sound like the Sex Pistols, no. but. <laughs> Excellent. Um, no, I only say that because so it's it's not sort of extreme or outrageous or you, you know you're I'm not going to say middle of the road or anything like that. But you're obviously your your own unique band, but people can't immediately go oh they've got you know massive great agenda they're flying no. they're they're all of that. No, none uh, of that. Certainly none not with that. our music. Not in our music at all. No. no. And Absolutely. even if you come to see us live, we're not we're not. In between songs, we're not doing any kind of preachy stuff about what we believe and what we think. Yes, it's all very much about the music and how we feel about our music, which is obviously very passionately and, and we have a, a real love for it. Mm. There's no hate involved. There's yeah, so it's yeah. very strange. It's... But I suppose this is how they can target you know these. Um these other groups who disagree and it, what a kind of weird world is that you can't mm. just disagree on something yeah. and say look okay we we agree to disagree you don't think this is good we think it's good um but we're going to leave you a, you know you've got to yeah. make a livelihood you've got to be able to go and play your music your music is not representative of your views yeah it is it's entertainment and yeah. i come from an entertainment background um and and presumably this is affecting your livelihood as well oh uh, well certainly we've um We've lost, we've lost gigs and work at like paid gigs. Um, I, I was investigated at work as well, my my day job as well, yeah. um, which was it went okay actually. My employer was um, supportive, which was nice. Um, and you know, it has been a bit of a mixed bag actually. Like yeah. we've had a lot of support, and I would say, overridingly, there's been more support than. Um, 
then uh, things that have gone negatively for us. So, so I, I mean, we really want to encourage other people to um, feel free to um, to speak their minds, and I think um, there will be people out there that will support them, and um, which is part of the reason that we've set up this Wrong Think Records yeah. to to try and help other bands in our situation. Yeah. So, yeah, so tell us, I mean, it's a, an intriguing title, isn't it? Wrong Think mm -hmm. Records. So it, clearly you've got the wrong thinking, mm -hmm. which actually is open-minded um, from what you're mm -hmm. saying and uh, the ability to have free speech, yeah. which, um, you know, certain factions of society really don't want you to have. So mm -hmm. other, other bands um, then presumably are, are facing exactly the same thing if they hold certain views again, if their music is separate from that. So tell us about the, the wrong think records and, and what you, what you're aspiring to. Um, so I think the name really speaks for itself. <laughs> um, we, we've got a, we've got an album coming out. So um, we're working with a um, distributor who's been very supportive and I'm, um, so we're working quite closely with them. So we, we've discussed um, setting up our own record label alongside them. And um, we decided we're going to open it up to other bands mm. who, who um, are passionate about free speech and that, you know, no compromise with that either. Mm. Mm. Um, you know, I th we think that, you know, you should be free to be able to say that men can't have periods, for instance. And, yeah. And there's going to be like no reprisals against you. Yeah. I mean, some of our gigs that we've done, we've we've done gigs with what we would describe as woke bands, and um, and many of them, you know, wanted um, you know, a couple of years ago wanted us to be locked up for um, our, our medical choices that we um, chose not to participate in, and things like that. So, you know, it, it's all very well when these activist bands um, want something their way, but mm. if you don't agree with exactly what we agree, then, um, mm. you know, they, they tend to try and throw their toys out of the pram, so. Yes, I mean, it's certainly when you run out of arguments, they just, or, or haven't got any arguments, it's far easier to uh, call people's names or say lock them up because they've got the wrong yeah. opinion. And it's like, yeah. well, hang on a minute, we, we've all got an opinion, yeah. but you, I, and the weird thing is then, is you're all you're all musicians of whatever level of quality of um, ability and talent and stuff, which should in theory glue you together. Yeah. yeah. But you know, you can say I, I love the way you play your guitar, mm -hmm. but uh, because you're as woke as anything, I'm sorry, I can't even talk to you. Which is yeah. nonsense, you know. You say, look, I don't agree with your views, but I, I, I you know, you're amazing on the piano. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Of course. Uh, yeah. So, so you know, you've got so much that should be in common, yeah. and yet it's weird how these th these mental things, these mm. blocks that okay, I just disagree with you. Well, mm. fine, okay, but, but we can still be friends or appreciate one another's, and we can support because clearly, surely, again, another thing must be for you guys to um, be getting your audience in. Um, to promote independent music and creative songwriting and all of that. Mm. You're fighting, not just having to fight these stupid ideas of these people mm. trying to shut you down, but mainstream media that wants you to sort of do things in a very anodyne way. Mm. And, and you're going, well, come on, all other musicians who, you know, it doesn't matter who you are. Yeah. We all want a, a, a piece of the pie, don't we? Yeah, it should it should be especially the sort of turbulence we're kind of increasingly living in in terms of like venues closing down, live music becoming much less of a, a, a thing. Um, it should be now more than ever where musicians are bonding and, and sort of encouraging one another. And um, mm. yeah, so it's, it's quite scary that it's, it's becoming much more of a divide. And I mentioned the Sex Pistols earlier, but in their day, you know, anarchy and uh, down with the Queen and all this sort of stuff, isn't it down to to poets, songwriters, dramatists, these sort of people, creative people, to question what 
what what um, the establishment mm-hmm. is doing, what the norms are. Yeah. And is that not your role? And all of you together are supposed to be doing that, not going, oh, no, no, you can't question that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, th- this is your role, isn't it? This is the whole point of having musicians to question things and and to um, and say, is this right? Mm. Yeah. yeah. And this uh, doesn't seem to be that. Yeah. Anymore. And uh, uh, and these people are going, oh well. Do they think that you're attacking them? I mean, I suppose in some respects you're attacking them because you're questioning their their own ethos, but mm. only because their ethos is really quite abhorrent mm. yeah I, th- I think some of them do feel attacked i mean I, I i quite like making jokes about some of these issues and i don't think people appreciate that um i don't yeah, think yeah, the yeah. lives <laughs> appreciate it <laughs> in all fact um, because we have a, a different way of, of um well everyone's different and everyone um puts out their argument or their thoughts in a yeah, different way yeah. and when it comes to social media i'm very different to how dan approaches his opinions on yeah, social media yeah. so there is a, you know but what you're saying is still something i agree with i just wouldn't necessarily go around doing it the way you do it because it's quite jokey like <laughs> yeah. uh, is it is it because we've not we, not you, the three of us, but uh, mm. in generally there's been foisted on us this sort of victim culture mm. that that mm. certain fractions of society are thinking, oh, I'm a victim of this, and anybody who questions what we believe is really having a go, go mm. at us. And they may be. They may be saying, are you sure that your ideas yeah. are really as good for children yeah. Uh, and particularly, yeah. it's not like you're being that outrageous and saying, well, if you want to have three penises coming out of your head yeah. or you want to sleep with a pig for four nights of the week and then go on holiday to Marbella and stink of that. You're not saying, you know, yeah. but you're just questioning whether actually the norms that we've grown up with. Yeah. That children are innocent and they should be able to make up their own mind once they get to sixteen to eighteen. Yeah. Mm. That is that is a traditional norm. Yeah. And you're you're turning that upside down on its head mm. and I'm not allowed to question that. Mm. Yeah, that's exactly it. Exactly. Yeah. And I, I think we found as well that most people actually agree with us on that. I mean, there's certain things that I think a lot of people certainly wouldn't agree with me on. But um, I think that issue in particular yeah. with regard to children, most people agree. But yeah. but and and they'll privately tell us yeah. that they agree. But when it comes to saying anything publicly, they keep their mouth it's closed. Up. Yeah, it's and and I mean, you know, the, this business of like mm. cancellation and I'm not just talking about us because it's I know it's happened to a lot of people like and, and in a I, much worse much, much worse, worse way so yeah but it wouldn't happen if if the so-called um silent majority actually yeah. actually um were a little bit braver to be honest and and i think really with you know one of my my aims is to try and sort of you know sp- speak to the silent majority and encourage them yeah. to be a little bit braver yeah do you think the silent majority, um, as you call them, are actually they know this is wrong? Think this, you know, this is wrong. Think strange, not your wrong. Think the other thing <laughs> is, un, you know, is is intolerable. But they're very frightened and they self censor because they don't want to be attacked by these minority groups yeah. who have who have different. I was going to say warped but uh, different ideas about what children's sexuality should be when, as I said before, we have huge amounts of evidence that in traditional worlds, in the Western world, that we gave children a childhood, innocent, until the point where they were um, physically, mentally able to question those things of their own Mm. validity without people saying, no, 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 we must... So so Mm. do you think most people... um, actually think you know the way that you think but they just don't want to vocalize it there's a lot of people that i know personally that that have even stronger opinions about Mm. um about certain things that we talk about um i think a lot of it is as we touched on fear 
but I do also think that some people just don't mm. see social media as the platform to 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 do anything with it, with that information. And also, I think it's very hard to know what to do other than mm. put a post saying that you don't agree with something on Facebook. Mm. What else can you do? Start signing petitions, going outside of schools. All this involves a lot of work, involves maybe thinking outside of the box. It involves a little bit of like get up and go. And I think mm. a lot of people don't care enough to go about doing something a little bit different with yeah. it. Um, it's easy to sometimes put a post up yeah. on Facebook and say, oh, I'm not sure about this event. This looks yeah. a bit dodgy. But do, actually doing something about it is a different yeah, no, thing. I don't know if I'm saying the right yeah, thing. No, I I don't, think, I don't and like I said, I mean, I, I also know people with stronger, more controversial opinions yeah. than me who are still, um, you know, welcomed into the woke community, so to speak. But, you know, they, you know, they'll, they'll privately have these discussions and express their views privately, but mm. they just don't want to risk their social standing or being mm. done. But I just think that, you know, this is the real problem because this would like end overnight if um, mm. these people actually like open their mouths. And I, I would say like, you know, people that are, uh, you know, silently um, just ignoring what these crimes. I, I think that actually makes them complicit in the crime. So, um, so if you're one of those people, you know, I think you've got a duty to speak out. Do the, do any of these um, the people who are campaigning to to um, close you? Do they ever? Do you think or do you know? privately come along to a gig and go uh, and actually witness what you're actually doing rather than what they've been told or believe that you've been doing in oh, your music yeah yeah no um i mean i think most of the people that have complained about us is, have um been to like yeah. gigs of ours because yeah. you know we've been performing music for quite a while and um and i, I think like we we're probably both from sort of quite you know, traditional sort of liberal backgrounds. And, mm. and I mean, I don't think either of us have, like, massively changed our political position. It's just, mm. you know, that what, what is considered liberal today was not, is, is not the same as what liberal was, no. well, 10 years ago, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, most of these people have been to our gigs and um, they've been, you know, I suppose, fans of our music. So they... Yeah. You know, it, it's only um, you know since we haven't like changed our our positions on you know what you know you know men having periods and that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, yeah. It's, so it, I mean, clearly, it's important to you that you do speak out the way that you do, even though it's affecting potentially gigs that you have. Um, and 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 the two are unrelated. You know, you've got your music, which is completely unrelated to your own personal opinion. Do do you? I mean, clearly, you're passionate about what you want to say on a personal level. Do you feel that that's? Um, is it coming to a point where it's hindering your gigs, or from what you've said about setting up uh, Wrong Think Records, that actually it's more important than ever that you open up to other bands and things hence and this is what i'm guessing i don't know why i mentioned the first bit now uh is that the the this is where you've got to talk yeah i think i think it's it it's hard to know exactly um where we stand in terms of like our, our fan base so to speak not sure how many people are now not coming to our our shows because again like the fear of being associated with going to a home by fire gig right so it could reflect badly on them or something so mm. and also in terms of us um getting booked getting booked for for gigs as well again not too sure if these venues are checking us out seeing that we've done interviews um had these opinions and are therefore not getting back to us and 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 um, giving us an opportunity to play at their venues. So there's a lot of unknowing 
with it. Yes. But as Dan mentioned earlier, there's been an awful lot of support and a lot of opportunities that we, we wouldn't have had without us speaking out mm. about all this. So it's, it's yeah, like you said, it's a bit of a mixed bag. Yeah, really. yeah. I mean, I I think um, a lot of people are sick of the woke, woke <laughs> mentality of um, just trying to cancel anything that they that that goes against one of their beliefs. So I I, I think it's a really good time for um, people to start speaking out, and I I do think the tide is um, is turning um, somewhat, and and I I think if people you know decide they want to speak out, I think there will be people there that will support them. So, um, you know, it, it is, like, really daunting. I mean, like, when it happened to us, like, we didn't know it was going to happen. And we could we could have either, like, you know, done the, the grovelling apology or... or, um, or Stood your ground. Gone, yeah. gone the other way. Yeah. So, um, but I, I think, like, if you, if you know you haven't done anything wrong, yeah. I think... One of the worst things you can do is apologise. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I mean, I, and I mean, it's very, I mean, whether you want to dress up, you know, the whole transgender thing is, is, a, is an area which for personal, everybody can do whatever they damn well like. And that's part of free speech as well. Isn't yeah, it? yeah. Like, you know, yeah. If, if, if a man wants to dress up as a woman or a woman wants to dress up as a man yeah, yeah. and wear all those sort of things and have operations, you know, once they're over a certain age, that's fine. But we're talking about children. Mm. Yeah. And, and that's where, you know, members of the public ought to be interested in this because this is the next generation mm. yeah. and you're fiddling with their minds. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and, and, and life is confusing enough yeah. without all of this thrown at us. How is the record label, your new record label, being um, uh, received by other band members and th other bands? Well, we've only just started speaking about it. It's only been a recent development of ours. Um, so we've had a couple of bands interested. Um, and that's about it at the moment, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah. So are are record... they positive generally? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no. We've, yeah, we've had a couple of bands send us songs. So mm -hmm. we're, we're, we're sort of still, still in the process of deciding exactly what direction we're going to go we're, we're talking yeah. about maybe putting out a compilation album of um yeah. wrong, wrong think bands <laughs> um we've got our own debut release coming out on the 3rd of may which is um which you can order from plastic head plastic head.com yeah um and um yeah so so we We'd like to hear from like other artists definitely so, um, definitely so um, and you can email us at wrong think records.com at hotmail.com yeah yeah <laughs> wrong thing yeah i'll put the i'll get you to send yeah. me the links and yeah. i'll put it in the description <laughs> um absolutely so um the music itself on on the wrong thing label can express the views that they want or can it just be like you and in, in yeah. you know just be we have, we, you know, we just don't want kids to be sexual or whatever the th thing is. But our music may not reflect that at all. It's just people have um, taken it the wrong way or misunderstood or or conflated the two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah there, there doesn't. You don't have to have any issue or any. You know, you don't have to ag necessarily agree with anything that we're yes. standing for. Or any, you know, just we want that, the opportunity to go out to to any musician. Who wants to get on our label? Fantastic. Right. Yeah. yeah, and they can be if they wish to be a little bit edgy or push yeah, back absolutely. against oh, yeah, the yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So you know, people who say, "I notice you're wearing the Just Love Oil uh, T-shirt," there, if they're saying, "Yeah, yeah you know, <laughs> uh, we love oil." Uh, they could make a record about that and and push that, or uh, you know, bam. Absolutely. Seed oils, for example, as we joked yes. beforehand, you know, yes. uh, the the old uh, just stop oil. Yeah, I'm in favour of just stop oil. If it's just stop sunflower seed oil, don't cook with that because it's dangerous. It is dangerous. Yeah. Um, so, which is, you know, people go, oh, I didn't. Mm. I thought they were about a different type of. Oh no, no, no. You know, they all sellotape themselves to the floor because they don't like sunflower oil. That's, what <laughs> it's about. That's really all it's about, and uh, it's very inconvenient. Um, 
that bad. Anyway, so people can get in touch with you um, yeah. at this Wrong Think Records. You've got the email. I'll put that in the in the description. Well, let's hope that uh, there's lots of bands out there who are going to flood to you and that yeah. you can get a, a, a label out there that people know will be by open-minded people who are happy to stand in their sovereignty, as it were, mm-hmm. to stand yes. by their beliefs and not fear what, other groups want to come down and, and and close you down. I mean, yeah. we can all disagree. I mean, this is the weird thing I find, you know. I can disagree with certain types of people and on that. So I don't go to them. Yeah. You know, people yeah. say to me, uh, I don't. Ha- I hate your videos, Richard. It's fine. Don't watch. Just don't watch them. Yeah. I, I, this, I, I mean, that's yeah. so easy. You don't have to kind of stop it because can you not see other people do enjoy yeah. it? Exactly. And that's their choice. Yeah. And if people want to come and watch uh, Whom by Fire and have a good old boogie <laughs> and have a nice <laughs> night, why would you want to stop that? Just because you disagree with some of their views on other things, mm-hmm. why would you want to stop people having fun? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And and that just seems a bit odd. Well, there you go. Dan and Elise, Eliza. I don't know why I say Eliza. It's my so- handwriting. Um Thank you so much for telling us about it. And will you keep in touch and let me know how it goes? And yeah. we've got lots of bands and and all of that. And yeah. um, I was hoping that you were going to play us a little bit of music. What what kind of instruments do you play, and and stuff? Tell us um, a bit about the band before um, we go. Yeah, Dan plays the guitar. I play um, synth, piano, a bit of bass, and yeah, we both sing as well. Fantastic. And and you, uh, clearly you must be in the South End. I didn't actually ask you this in the South End in Essex somewhere yeah. down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've been to South End and seen all the uh, the five G towers and all the, oh, the, the, oh, no. the concrete blocks that are around that mysterious, mm. the colourful concrete blocks that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like uh, yeah. the university building. Oh, is is that what it is? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you still are got some the nice parts of South End. Oh yes, yeah. yes. No, I'm not. I'm not knocking it. You've yeah. still got the the longest pier, haven't you? We have, yeah. Longest yeah. pleasure pier. Longest pleasure pier, absolutely. And yeah. and does the train still go up and down it? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Fan- Do you ever play on the pier? No. Did we? To... I think. I think we. I think we may have done it. I think a few years ago. Yeah. Actually. Yeah. Yeah. Fan- Do you get many, many buskers in uh, South End? Yeah, yeah. Musical yeah. buskers. Yeah. Yeah, we used to do a bit of busking as well, didn't we? We have done. Yeah. Oh, maybe we should start that. There you go. Get back on the streets yeah. and and do a bit of uh, wrong thinking. Yes. Records. You never know. Brilliant Get you on stuff. The speaker. There you are. Well, more power to you, and thank you so much for coming on the show and telling us about it. I think it will resonate. There's lots of people who are probably. I mean, we. I added a, an event or had an event planned in Liverpool. And it was all cancelled because, um, I mean, I was one of many speakers, but we were speaking about the various subjects that we talk about on this channel. And somebody didn't like that, uh, a, a group of people who didn't like the idea of freedom's talk being mentioned um, and people having autonomous lives and not being interfered with by the government. And uh, the hotel chain decided, well, that's it, we'll cancel you then, which is very strange because we're yeah. all working for the common good. But... Yeah. Mm, they didn't want us, so um, I know exactly what it's like. So yeah, instead of going to, to Liverpool, we didn't do it. Aww. But anyway, take care. Good luck. Thank and you. Thank you. Thank you so much for having us on, giving us the opportunity to talk about yeah, it all. Thanks. Really appreciate it. Yeah. No problem at all. So there we are, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> uh, Wrong Think Records. I'll leave the links in the description. Go check them out. And if you're a band, get in touch. And um, it would be nice to see a a success story. That's what we want at the moment. More successes and less of this government oppression and other people coming up with these very strange ideas. Mm -hmm. Take care, both of you. Thank you, you, Richard. I will be back with more monologues and more wonderful guests coming to the channel very soon. But in the meantime, from Dan, Eliza and myself, thanks for watching. Goodbye.